Hello and welcome. This is Tammy and today we are going to be making our pumpkin geode. I'm starting with this um, pumpkin that I purchased from Hobby Lobby and I'm going to start by removing the um, foliage from underneath the stem, keeping the stem intact. Um, and I may add it back later. So what I've done is I'm, I've taken it an X-Acto knife and I have kind of have a plan of how I want my um, geo to be cut out of the pumpkin. And so I'm just going to go along um, the top edge lining out how I want my geo to be removed from it from this pumpkin. Please be very careful when you're doing this. Um, it's hard enough doing it on a um, round surface. you don't want to cut yourself And just making sure it is looking like I'd like for it to be and now I'm just going to go from the top to the bottom of my cutout and trim it down and just pull those pieces of styrofoam away from the pumpkin now there is a difference between um, pumpkins this one being from Hobby Lobby it has a firmer core to it um, the the foam in the Hobby Lobby pumpkin is much denser than that of say a Walmart pumpkin um, which is much softer and in tearing it the styrofoam out of uh, the, the pumpkin it really is a mess so this makes it a lot nicer plus you want to make sure that your pumpkin has a really nice flat bottom to it um, because once you put your glass in for your geode your pumpkin will roll if you do not have a good flat bottom Okay, and so next, what I plan on doing is a pump, a um, resin pour over top of the pumpkin. This was just kind of a spur of the moment decision. I had just gotten the mail and received um, some of my new pigments from Dryer Days Art Studio, her Color Joy collection. I purchased the magenta, clementine, and lemon and um, they are absolutely stunning. In addition, I'm going to be using the Iridron Pale Gold and Antique Gold pigments. I believe both are from Allure's Art Corner and um, absolutely beautiful as well. So this is just gonna be a dirty pour. I'll be pouring all of the pigments into one cup and pouring over top of the pumpkin. For those of you that are here visiting with me to watch this video for the first time, I'd like to welcome you to my channel. 
Um, and for those of you who are my faithful followers, thank you for being here and welcome back. Um, if you have um, not already subscribed, I would so appreciate it if you would consider doing that. And um, drop me a comment. Tell me what you think of this project. Um, this project absolutely was inspired from L Artista Nair. N-Y-R, M-Y-R, uh, but I will make sure that I give her full credit, especially a down inside of uh, my description. So she is, as far as I know, the original artist that, um, that made this and inspired me uh, to do the same. I don't think I've seen a pour on a pumpkin from her, but... Um, this is just me kind of making it my own. But um, I would love for you to subscribe and um, spend some time um, st staying in touch with me. It really means a lot to my channel. Uh, it really helps my channel to grow and to bring you more content like this. Now here is that lemon yellow, a very difficult color to find in a mica. Um, but really, really pretty. A uh, little bit of, of my clementine, which is an orange, which is very close to the color of the pumpkin, so uh, it's fairly difficult to see the, the orange on this. And my magenta, which is absolutely gorgeous. It's very girly. And then my pale iridron, my iridron pale gold pigment. I'm going to hit up my stem, my pumpkin stem. I think that really made it gorgeous. And then my antique white, uh, antique gold here. I believe that's the name of it. I really need to make sure that I follow up on that. Please note that I am an affiliate with Dryer Days Art Studio. Um, you, I do have a discount code for you, and that's all capitals, L-U-V, which is love, res, R-E-S, so L-U-V-R-E-S-10, and that will get you 10% off of at her website at Dryer Days Art Studio. So here's a look at... Uh, what the the uh, resin pour looks like and I just love how these colors came together I so wish that I had this on uh, canvas but I didn't think about it now when I, I forgot to film that I had just put, took a little bit of that Michael's glass that I purchased and I sprinkled some on top of the pumpkin Uh, this is some glass that I, I purchased from Laura's Art Studio and will be using later. This I, uh, gold crushed glass I also sprinkled on top. And I think it turned out really well. Okay, so that's now dry and I am ready to move on to building the geode. Um, and you can see that some of the pour drizzled down into the geode cutout and I'm perfectly okay with that. Now while off camera, I did um, color some glass orange. I used uh, two different colored alcohol inks to create uh, some orange glass and um, I'll show you those in just a minute. But for right now, I'm going to start building my geode using the, the clear starlight fire glass. These are quarter inch pieces. You can get them in a 10 pound, um, you can get them 10 pounds, 20 pounds on up. These came from Amazon, I believe. 
Um, and this is the colored glass that I made with using alcohol inks. And I used the Pixis Carrot and the Marabou. The Marabou ink came with their new line of alcohol inks that just came out. Um, and I could not read the label to save me. Um, but it's a beautiful color. I just don't know any way to direct you to how to get that other than to tell you that it's part of their new line. So I'm just kind of building up my layers to create my geode. And so you'll see me go back and forth between uh, adding the different various glasses. And I'm going to use the smaller glass in between to kind of fill in the nooks and crannies of the larger uh, chunks of starlight glass, making sure that all of the glass touches resin. So I'm just using small amounts of resin to um, drizzle over top to make sure they're going to be there permanently. Also making sure that the ridge of the cutouts are covered completely with glass. And here I am using some of that um, clear glass glitter. And I'll go back and forth and building it. And I'm just touching some spots, making sure that it's making contact with the resin that I just drizzled over. This is probably the longest pro part of the entire process was um, building the layers of my geode. I'm still adding the more of the, cl the clear glass I put over um, the orange, um, the lighter it gets. So I'm just adding a little bit more to darken it. I really like a dark, rich color for the center of the geode. I like the different layers. Um, and the depths of a geode as well. Um, here I'm just uh, using some mylar glitter flakes that are translucent and a little bit more of the gold crush glass. And here's what we have so far. And you can you can see how pretty that looks. So now um, I'm going to, I have shaken this up and you need to shake it up super well. Uh, it's liquid gold. I got this from Dick's um, Art Supply and I'm just taking, I have a brand new brush, I'm just taking it along the edges and um, uh, painting a thin line around it and also using it to go in between any glass um, where there is styrofoam showing and making sure all of that is covered. Also adding just a little bit of that gold to some of the glass areas um, to give it some organic look. I'm not sure if I'm going to attach those leaves back to the pumpkin or not. I'll probably give it a few days and decide whether or not I'm going to do it. I may add some um, some of this gold on them to see uh, how it takes it 
this is uh, this liquid gold is kind of like spray paint in a can um, but it, it's one of the best golds on the market to give that real gold shine and but it is very fluid and I'm going to use um, some basically it's nail polish remover and acetone um, and just go along and make sure I clean up any of it that dripped down too far because I have to lay my pumpkin this way while I'm pouring my drip my drizzling my resin into um, the glass I did have one little leak along the side that I'm on right now um, but it's okay it's it's not horrible but I didn't catch it and it already set up it's still a very pretty piece it's not without its issues but it's still a very pretty piece okay so here it is in its entirety and I just think it turned out so pretty and this is like way early in the morning and the Sun is trying to peek through you can see the lawn um, but it's not out enough where it catches the glimmer on those stones that are absolutely gorgeous um, but I still think this is spectacular it's getting a little bit brighter now my camera angle is not the best but It was also cool and muggy at the same time this morning and so the glass was fogging up while I was videoing it so I was having a time but I just think it still you can see that resin drip there but I just think it turned out so pretty there's a little bit of light So let's just take a look at my next one that white one is the very first one that I did make I didn't do a pour on it I just used that same gold to um, paint the stem and just around the stem again if you would please um, subscribe and like and give me a comment even sharing any of those things really do help my channel to grow i thank you so much for being here and watching i hope that you enjoy making your geode pumpkin and i'd love to see it don't forget descriptions in my description i'll have a list of all of the materials that i used see you next time